Good afternoon, everybody. Me and Squirrel here. Wow. Last night was kind of crazy, wasn't it? Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, last night was the Daytime Emmy Awards. Which is weird because I felt like we had a Daytime Emmy Awards recently. But I think it was because, um, Rider Strike went on for like almost a year. And the Daytime Emmy Awards got pushed back so much that they ended up having it like really late. So that's probably why. <laughs> Yeah, so the last ceremony was was back in what November? Yeah, sounds about right. I don't know. I don't fucking remember anything anymore. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, yeah. So there were some pretty interesting surprises. Like first of all, um, Dick Van Dyke actually became. The oldest actor in history to win a Daytime Emmy Award for Guest of Fun. Which, you know, I was kind of surprised that he won, but... I'm also glad that he got the award, cause, you know, he's pretty old, and... This might be the very last award that he'll ever get to win his entire life, so if this ends up being the last thing he ever wins in his entire life, then what better way to cap off your career? So yeah. There's that. And if you really think about it, he's had a pretty good career with a lot of memorable roles, so... Yeah, it was pretty well deserved, I think. So I'm happy for him. And, uh... Another surprise that happened last night was that... Thorsten K won be best lead actor. Um, I was kind of surprised because I was not really expecting him to win. I thought it was either gonna be maybe Wally Curve or maybe Aaron Marks up again, but okay, whatever. Uh, I think the biggest surprise to me was Michelle Stafford, like. I never really thought the Michelle Stafford was gonna win. I really thought it was either gonna be Anka Noel or maybe Vanilla Hughes. Um. But, okay. I like Michelle Stafford. I liked her portrayal as Nina and Jara Oswald when she was on Jara Oswald. And, uh. To be honest, I never really warmed up to Cynthia Watro's portrayal of Nina. And the rain for Nina has just gotten pretty bad as a whole. And uh Yeah, a lot of people are really upset. A lot of people are really upset on Twitter that she won and they were like screaming, Cynthia Watros got robbed! She got robbed! You know. I don't know, I mean, the only reason why anybody cares about Nina at all to begin with is because of Cynthia Watros. Like, apparently she's a very popular actor for a reason. And honestly, Nina's just a nothing burger character. Like, she really has no purpose on the show. Like, she really doesn't bring anything to the canvas anyway. Like, her whole arc, the entire time she's been on the show, is, you know, trying to find her lost child, and 
she really doesn't have any relationship with the daughter she has loved. And honestly, I'm at a point where I don't really want Nina Willow to have any kind of relationship because there's been so much bad blood between the two of them. And I don't know, that ship has pretty much sailed and I don't know, it, it would just make a lot more sense for Willow and Nina to just not like each other. To never really have a more dark relationship because they just don't like each other. And that's the way it is sometimes in real life, like for some reason, you know, certain people they just don't like each other. I don't know why some Nina fans are so desperate for Willow like Nina. It's just stupid. Like, who cares? Whatever. Another win that I thought was highly deserved was Courtney Hope. I kind of have a feeling that she might win, but. I don't know, I guess after the way that Thorsten K won. I guess I thought Emily O'Brien was gonna win for some reason. And I even said on Twitter, if Emily O'Brien wins tonight, I guarantee you Days of Lives gonna bring Gwen back in. Well excuse me. They might as well just bring Gwen back at this point anyway, cause Reasons basically ruined the armor pairing. I don't know. They should just write off the fucking show and just. Just get River all to her. Like, who cares anymore? Uh, anyways, oh. Uh, But, you know, Courtney Hope won, and I'm not surprised that she won. Like, it's pretty clear why she won. I mean, better hurt than anybody else, I guess. And it's funny because I didn't realize that Best Supporting Actress already announced the winner. And I don't know, I guess I just kind of forgot. Because I guess they were like announcing the categories like so randomly and were wasting their time with like stupid skits or whatever. I don't know, I guess I wasn't paying too much attention. I mean, like I said, because I was like, man, like, I just don't care. But, Lord. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Shit, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so. Uh, so, yeah, um. Actually, if you guys want. I could go on Twitter right now and uh, we could maybe look up some of the tweets and see some of the pics. It's actually pretty funny. Alright, hang on a sec. Alright, so here we are. Alright, so yeah, that's Dick Van Dyke. Look, look, he's on a king. Right. Oh, that's cute. It's a cute outfit of them too. Oh, that's adorable. That's so adorable. Yeah, and there's there he is with his award. 
Oh, that's the immemorial shirt. Marcellus family. Oh shit. Look at his wife. It is twin boys. Holy crap. This thing one's taller than yours. Oh wow. There's so many pictures of the cast members. Ugh. Uh, Valley Bernoulli. Red carpet pictures. Alice is a terrible character. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Some of these comments about Frank are not sitting well. I get the issues with how he does his job, but the man has not looked well for the last two years. What if something is actually wrong? Yeah, it's Frank Valentini and Satani. You data Emmy the word outside drama series, which is not uh, not much because she sucks. Okay. Oh yeah, I saw it on Instagram. It's pretty cute. Yeah. It is cute. People like, oh, baby Frank is a whole pump. Be compassionate. We don't know his story. It's a Frankie flop sweat has looked exactly this sweaty and tweaky for years now. If he has a serious old problem, he could always, you know, quit. Ah, probably. Coke is a problem. I don't know, maybe. He has a problem with substance abuse, you never know. I mean, that's a possibility. That's always a possibility, like, who the hell knows? Maybe there is something medically wrong with him. I don't know. If he has a health problem, he should incorporate in a show, and then watch his writers make a mockery of it, the way they do all important health stories. Alright.
understand. That woman damn near pissed on SB's leg on stage to mark him as her territory share were all press she presented with him, not just experience and embarrassment or be <laughs> Like he looks so uncomfortable. Loki wanted a girlfriend to have words hands with on her. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Jeez, why does he turn the cloud and I don't know? It deal with her. Now with Drew is voting to Congress and at his victory party, they play a view of him and will punch him in front of half the town, including Michael and Nina. Oh well. Alright, it's fine. Who gives a shit? They never should have. Yeah, hang on. They never should have Madsy have Peter's baby. Yeah, that's true. No beloved, I'm pretty sure the executive producer. Being criticized for being the person in charge of Bally Rin soap opera that plays favorites shows a glaring disregard for what fans want to see. Alright. Frank looks like an absolute crack. <laughs> oh my god. I was looking for this picture. Oh my god. Oh lord, that is bad. Why is Laura Ray front and center when she should be behind the writers producers? Oh wait, she's gotta be front and center. Frank looks like I'm so correct. Oh my god. Why is she right there? You know why it's her world. Yeah, that's right. It's Carly's world and we're all just living in it. Okay, if he has an anxiety problem, that's fine, but he doesn't look like Chakuseta. Holy shit. Actually, that's the word my mom would use, Chakuseta. He doesn't, he, he doesn't need to look like Chakuseta in, in public. Oh lord, my mom was a cow. She saw somebody looking like that. Ugh. Oh, that's cute. Nice picture. Eh. Uh, yes. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Um, this was a short one, so... 
I hope to see you all again soon. Um, if you like this video, subscribe. This is Phoenix Girl signing off, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!